Billy, what are you laughing at? It's just Tony's an idiot. No, like, uh, that's not wow. fair. That's not fair. I, let me no rephrase that. That's not fair. I don't want to say uh, idiot. He's a bit of a clown. Like Also he, not fair. He, across the hall, he's been saying this now for... Uh, this isn't even the first time he's said it. He believes that he could be John Amici in basketball. <laughs> and we all think that that is absurd. I don't think... I, In Tony's defense, I don't think it's absurd. I just think that it depends on the cardiovascular shape of John Amici. If he's like regularly in the gym, running, staying in good shape, Tony, I'm sorry, you've got no hope. But if maybe he doesn't touch a basketball very often, maybe he doesn't do a ton of running, then maybe you've got a chance. No. It's, it's all dependent on if John Amici's in good shape. But you need to see his strategy and how he thinks he's going to beat him, how he thinks he's going to play defense against John Amici with one elbow on his back. Like, that's going to do absolutely anything <laughs> at all. Amici back Billy. down Shaq. <laughs> okay, are you guys done? Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Okay, Make your let's, case. let's yeah. no, no, no. It's not a case. It's what what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> so the it's the what's gonna happen? Okay, Dan, listen. You have Meach flying over the pond to play your little one on one. I mean, he's in Miami. He was in Miami not too not too long ago. Why right? didn't you play? Uh, yeah, because the fight was brought to my door. I didn't bring this fight to anybody. I was sleeping. Okay, all of a sudden I wake up to a tweet from John Amici towards me and i'm like okay wow. that's weird so i look up somebody had asked john a completely just random question of hey do you still play basketball blah 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 blah, blah. john says no i don't and then somebody else responds to john saying could you still beat 10 day tony right and then he replied to that saying always there you go so at that point i was like <laughs> i didn't say anything to anybody I haven't talked to anybody I haven't said anything right <laughs> all of a sudden the fight at 5 30 in the morning is at my door so he's confident i might be back on meet so i told him hey it's really simple. You're in Miami. Next time you're in Miami, I'll personally set it up and we could play. Personally? Yeah, personally. Ooh. We'll set right. it up. And then he never replied. Personally. Well, yeah, busy guy. You know, he's saving the world and whatnot. But then these guys who who have ad absolutely zero athletic prowess whatsoever wow. in this room. It's crazy. I think I said I was good at you soccer. Do a full, oh, like, you want to do a full Olympics? No, he wants to do a full Olympics. Very organized I know, player. he's very organized. I, was a I had a game-winning shot one time in an intramural game. <laughs> <laughs> Did you throw a touchdown too, Dan? <laughs> you were saying. The point is that Meech is a 51-year-old man who has a lot of miles on him because he played a lot of basketball, okay, in a bigger frame that tends to not age well as you grow older, right? That's a normal thing. That's not anything crazy. The fact that he does not have two lateral steps to put together to guard you somebody. You don't know that, though. Okay, Billy. You and just you decided Bobby, and you do. You just decided you that do. he can't Wait, play basketball and he has no, no, no lateral steps. Billy is armed with a 10-year NBA career. Yeah, Tony. Tony, Tony 30 like, years ago. Tony, but you conceded that you don't remember anything about his game. He was a very skilled basketball Mike, player. that's fine. Incredible footwork. Mike, do, would, would you, you're a gambling man, right? Yeah, I'm a gambling okay. man. I'd would like you, to know what the line on that is. Would you bet that John Amici has lateral steps in him that would guard somebody 20 years younger? I don't think he can guard you because you're going to be taking your shots from the outside, but I think it's a lower percentage shot. Right, but what, but if I drive past him, can he guard me with a lateral he step? Can make, you're not going to, like, he can I make can't up that. I can't drive past him? He's, you can, but he's got a wingspan. Dude. He's going to stand Mike, under the he's gonna Russell Russell guys, Westbrook, guys. He's going to just tell you to shoot. He's going to be like, right, I'm here. You're not coming stand, in here. You guys. can drive past him, but he can close some of that distance with how guys, he I'm is not, a large human being. Okay. And I've never played against somebody who's 6'8", 6'9", 6'10". Dude, before. you cited Fat Mello. That was on defense. But you're... Okay, guys. You guys are, <laughs> you're playing right. against Nicky Jam <laughs> and, and, and Bill Lawrence, Fat Mello, rest in peace, by the way. Rest, rest in peace, Fat Mello. <laughs> he, Fat Mello was not John Amici on offense. I just don't think you'll be able to stop him once he I, puts a hip in you. I overheard this conversation in the kitchen. And Mike, honest to God, it felt like a detective interrogation room because... He asked him, who have you guarded of this size? And Tony said, Fab Mello. And then he said, and how did you do? And it was it was DeSantis when Biden asked him whether he could say flatly that if he became governor, he wouldn't go after president immediately. And DeSantis just stared straight ahead. Mike kept asking. You, you asked like four times. I left before hearing what the answer was. Did it ever come how he did against Fab he, Mello? The answer was he got buckets, guys. He was an NBA player at 17 years old. Yeah, like, he, he, he was, was really good. He Sorry. was young. There's a difference between oh, Fab Mello at a, at a college and John Amici at 51 years old, but as someone that was able to watch but, both of them play, John Amici was on another level in terms of offensive skill. But also, like at this point, your NBA career that didn't exist would have been winding down as well. Mm -hmm. Like you're not in prime shape either. Well, I don't understand that. Well, Is that a question? Is that a statement? You're not like, at your like, peak, like, just like Amici. Says who? 
Well, says who? Says, says Billy? all of us. Says, Sorry, I'm peak. Says Billy? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm peak. peak. Thank you. Shout out to Bad Bunny, biggest artist on the planet. The point is, okay, Billy has never seen me play basketball in person. <laughs> I've seen the in videos. Person. In well, person. I assume it's worse than what I've seen on video because you only put out the ones that go in. Tony, the problem so if I is, see you in right, person, I know boy. that you're missing a lot. That's a heady play, by the way, Tom. Uh, Tony, here's what he's seen. He's seen John Amici play in the NBA, and he's never Who seen has? you play there. Who has? Billy. Billy's seen John Amici he's play in the video. NBA. He knows he's played in the NBA. Oh, so Billy's seen the exact same amount of me and John Amici play. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> the conversation ended up going and bouncing over to Stugatz in the That's kitchen, serious. where Stugatz was mulling how old Larry Bird would have to be <laughs> for, Tony, for Tony to be able to beat it. He's got a bad back then. Oh, but John Amici, for the record, for those of you who do not know, he he is six ten, six eleven, and yes, he could very. He was very skilled and could uh, take Shaq in the post and and drill twelve points worth of first quarter jumpers in the half court game. But that was twenty years ago. It and, was twenty and that years was Shaq, ago. And this is Tony. <laughs> so, like the fall off of his age, and then the level of competition between Shaq and Tony probably go along the same plane. Like, the question we need to ask, Meech, is could you play a game to 11? If he says the he word can. yes, of he course does. he can. He can. By the way, then we all think... This, no, then we all think he does. does. My, my, introduction, my, my introduction to John Amici was when he was playing for the Magic, and the Heat opened up what was the AAA at the time, and he was torching them. He was. He scored the, the heat first have had points. A, he was good. The Heat have had a lot of good bigs during that era, and this, John Amici gave a lot of all-time bigs problems. Like twenty years ago, yeah, for but sure. You're not an all-time big. It was not. I have to be an all-time big. Anything big. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> He'd be a small NBA player. <laughs> I'd be. I'd be a guard. <laughs> You mentioned Shaquille O'Neal. Do any of you, and we'll get Meech on and we will ask him. Meech does yoga, he rides his bike, but he hasn't touched a basketball in a the, long time. The funny thing about this is the, the guy rides a bike. The yeah, he's got the cardio. Dude, he's You're done. Okay, funny, Billy, have you ever played basketball before? Never. Honest, honest What's question. Basketball? Honest question. Have you ever played a full <laughs> game of basketball? Yeah, but the, by okay. the way, you also change it because it was not one on one at first. You change it to one on one where like there's no way you're going to get around him. And they're like one on one, and then like you gave yourself a So hold the whole on, you court. wanted me to play five on five with him? Yeah. It wouldn't even be close. It what? wouldn't be close. Five Anthony. Guys, no, no, no. Hold on. It's not, it's not five me versus five him. It's, it's, what is going. happening? Him on one side versus me on the other side. If we're playing a full court game, right. he does not finish that half full court, court game. You're not playing half a full court, court game. No, one, one so five one. on five, half court? Billy, what are you talking about? We're playing 21. Half court. Okay. I, I just don't see how you can stop him backing you down. He's it's a just huge wild man. how offended you are by us saying that an NBA player yeah. would beat you. Like, you should be like, oh, I mean, maybe Tony, I could hang. He's Ron McGill like, blocked player. your shot. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Like, Ron McGill gave you a little bit of problems. Bill Lawrence <laughs> beat you. Bill Lawrence has never beaten him. <laughs> Really? Ron McGill gave you the business, though. Ron McGill did not ever give me the business. He he tipped. He got a fingernail on a shot of, of a, a lefty. F Billy, you hear a lot of shit that nobody wants to talk about. Okay. What? I do, dude, I'm, I'm, it was a lefty floater that he got a fingernail on. I'm not saying flatly you'll lose. I'm saying that John Amici presents problems that you won't have answers for. So you of better course friggin he does. He was an NBA player. You friggin bring it, but the hostility. Like you need to go nine for eleven from the field with okay. your jumpers. Okay. Right. So, okay. I'm just saying. So does he. But he's, he's going down. Yeah, but his so shots are far he. more likely to be nine for eleven because his shots are going to be but a hell of a lot closer. Got an offensive Wait. rebounding problem. If, <laughs> if, if Meech gets the ball first and mm -hmm. it's winners, right? Winners take out. Mm -hmm. So he scores. He gets the ball again. That could get right. ugly. Does Tony ever get the ball? That wow, could, that could get ugly. So right. Stu, you, you got you got eleven for eleven. Back I mean, him Tony, down like Elijah. Bat, he's six yeah. ten. You, you got to rope a dope him. You got to tire him out. Do a lot of stuff on the perimeter. I pulled the chair on a big man before. You, 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 think he's just gonna sit, you think he's gonna sit there and fucking back me down and I'm not gonna do anything about it? So you have Amici, you have Amici being fooled by the pulling of the <laughs> chair. He hasn't played in 25 <laughs> years. Okay, so he, right the guy's right. saving the so, world. So he was trying to back you down in the low post. Again, you hit him with an Ole, all of a sudden he's on the floor. Ah, the Ole. Jesus, Jesus Christ, guys. Mike Austin tried the Ole. You, I, I just, I want to be clear on something. You feel like your lower body strength is such that he will feel the need to use his maximum effort to bang against you. And there will be one time you're not there and a former NBA player mm -hmm. is falling on his back mm -hmm. because you have pulled a chair mm -hmm. on him and you're going to stand over him and call traveling. No, it wouldn't be called traveling. I would just take the ball and then score. Uh, How many charges are you going to draw? Zero. 
This is this is one on one. We don't play charges. We're playing real basketball. Oh my here. god! So you're letting him put a hip in you, That's Tony? Oh. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not, Agreed. Just remember, I'm not you guys. Finally, something that we can all whoa, agree on. Whoa, whoa. Wow! What is that I'm not, supposed I'm to not be? Built guys. different. No, it's not built, built different. different. I, I can organize a defense. I, I bet you can. <laughs> I can say that I'm a lot closer to you than you are to John Amici. <laughs> that's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I have us forming an organized wall pulled from Witty's briefcase, all being backed down together by John Amici in the post. And all of us trying to put seven elbows on his butt crack and all of us getting backed down. The, the aspects of John's game that I'm most concerned about are probably even better now because he's about 100 pounds heavier than he was during his playing yeah. days. Yep. You got nowhere to go. You go where he tells you. My favorite part about this argument when it was happening across the hall mm -hmm. was Lewis, who will defend you on absolutely anything, <laughs> telling you they're all just jealous oh, the guy with of some you, sense Tony. around here. They're yeah. all just jealous of you. That's why they're telling you this. It was amazing. <laughs> they, they, he'd say he complimented his mustache, told yeah, him how did. handsome he was, Thank you. and he said that all of us were mocking him, not because John Amici was a former NBA player, but because we're jealous of how handsome he is. And actually, Stu got to agree. I do. I wish I had a friend like that. I'm telling you, guy, the only guy with some sense in this company. It's crazy. I'm not calling it. I would just like to see it happen, but the are hostility. You are you giving me points in this game? No. Are you? Are you? Wait, no, no, no. Like, why are you going to say talking about a betting like, if, if, if we're, we're talking about a betting line, I would have, but not now. No, no, no. You're talking him. about a okay, Well, now so that you've, been, you've yeah. lit a fire under John Amici, no, talking all this smack. Well, if it's make it, take it. Ooh. Meech gets the ball first. If Meech gets the ball first, uh, no, then no, Meech we got to do original shoot for ball. Whoever shoots makes it. And they and they well, get he's never gonna miss. Call I him mean, out. Call him out. What are you talking about? He's never gonna miss. He won he's a gonna bronze miss. medal in the Commonwealth Games. How many yeah. Commonwealth Games medals do you have? I don't exactly. even know what that means. <laughs> right. Like Larry, Bird, Larry Bird is sixty-five years old. He is sixty-five. How old do I Larry have to make? La <laughs> how old do I have to make Larry Bird before you would say Tony has a chance against Larry Bird? Seventy-five. I think we could go. Like, do you think you could be Glenn Big Baby Davis? At 75. No, right now. No. Right now? No. I'm just trying to find how far Tony will go with this. I'm telling you right now, Larry Legend would cook you. Wow. At any age. At 65? At Larry, He's 65. He's one of the most competitive people ever. But I think Meech's game has aged better than Bird's because Meech could just stand there. That's what he did. That's what he does. Oh, you, you don't know? think Bird can hit jumpers still? But Larry could. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. But it's 75 now. It's a bad back, though. That's the thing. <laughs> but Larry can hit jumpers. The hick from French I'm not Lake. Gonna, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. You're not beating Larry Bird. I I would like to see you play John Amici because I'm genuinely curious. I'm giving you set a, the line. A, set the set line. The All right. Set the line. If yeah. it's make it, take it. Mm -hmm. Make it, take it. Make it, take it. Shoot for ball first. Minus so twenty one. Minus two eighty. But points. But I would take no, 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 no points. I would, I would, I would handicap it. Make it, take it makes this really difficult. I would set it at John Amici minus eight and a half. Okay, so I'm getting eight and a half points. Here. Yep. In a game to he 11 or a game to 21? <laughs> He's back here In like, a game to 21. <laughs> but okay. that's not the game. You said you could beat him. <laughs> okay, I know. Right. But I'm just seeing not how far Mike... I mean, I'm just seeing how far Mike will take it. It's, it's, it's a good okay. matchup because you're, you're going to... You do things that are also going to trouble him, but he right. may just be affording Guys, he, you to if have he, that. If he can take the ball from the three-point line top of the key, turn his back, dribble seven times, and score for 21 straight points... He deserves to beat me, obviously. See, I think he can do that. And he's going to do it. I think he's going to do it. I think he checks. I think he turns around. So he just pounds the paint. It's three hip checks, and you're done. That's what I. That's what I think his offensive strategy is. He's going to hit gonna you with like a out. British accent while doing it. <laughs> with a spot say, of tea in his hand. He's going to say Cheerio <laughs> on his way to the cup. Oh God, it's my worst nightmare. It's like playing Big Witty. Witty. <laughs> <Biddy. laughs> 